Hi right, guys, I uh, removed the both headlights, both front indicators and the front bumper. Uh, I think it's quite evident to say that this has been in a bit of a bump at some point in its life. As you can see by this box section that mounts the, uh, the bumper. Uh, it looks like it's just had a little knock along this front end. You can see the um, the bonnet catch, bonnet lock. You can see that plate is completely bent backwards. And it's also the same for this bumper mount as well. But um, let's carry on stripping. Uh, as you can see, front bumper mounts on the bottom of the wings. This one's rotten, as you can see. Um, on this side is also showing signs of corrosion and rust. So let's carry on taking things off and progress a bit more. Right guys, what we've just done is, is we have just taken measurements at the top of the wing and the bonnet. The centre, or roughly the centre of the wing and the bonnet. And also the front edge of the wing and the bonnet. Uh, we've done that on both sides. As you can clearly see, there's a bit of a gap difference between the near side and the off side now i'm assuming that is due down to that damage that we've seen on this front corner well this front end so the i know it's very crude but the measurements as you can see there's a very big difference between the near side and the off side um with the wings uh, i've also done the wing to door gaps as well um on both sides as well on both sides and you can clearly see uh, there's not that much difference between them apart from one millimeter on the offside front top edge of the wing um, so I think we'll have a little bit of dinner and we'll take the front grille off we'll take the wings off and the bonnet um, expose the front end. Alright guys, dinner has been and gone. And also, the wings and the bonnet has also gone too. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these wings. As you saw before in the other video, you could see a bit of corrosion on the uh, offside front wing, where the, the bumper mounts to it. Hoping that can be salvageable, to tell you the truth. Um, I think it can be, I'm not too sure, without digging a bit deeper into it. This is the near side wing, and uh, as we was uh, removing it, you can see it's fully rotten there, on that bumper mount. We've got rust here, but it seems to be pretty intact, that metal. <clears throat> but um, again, without further investigation, going deeper into it, um, we'll see what it's like. Uh, this is what it's like now for the the shell for what this is 992, 993, so 25, 26 year old car. It's not too bad. We've got bits and bobs of rust here and there. Um, Quite surprised actually when we took the mud flap off uh, how much crap was actually sat in there um, but it's not rotted at all there. Uh, I was expecting quite a lot of rot there but everything seems to be okay yeah we've got a bit of surface down down below where the wing bolts to but um, in general it's not too bad around here. Not too bad. 
Again, a bit of surface there. Um, but the main rust and rot that we can see is just down here on the uh, on this front cross member, and that's where the uh, the wheel arch liner wasn't fully locked in on that. It had been damaged in the past, and it was loose and a bit of shit got behind there, and yeah, it's corroded it. Let's go and have a look around the other side. Pretty much same for the other side, really. Um, again, where the bottom of the wing bolts to. Um, just showing signs of surface rust around there. Uh, again, the rest of it is not that bad at all. Like I say, for its age, and I think it's got like 160 odd thousand on the clock. It's not bad at all. I was expecting a lot worse than this guy, to tell you the truth. Um, let's have a look down here. Yeah, we've got a, a little bit of surface rust there again. But we'll uh, dig deeper into that as we go along. 